today we are going to make some barbecued donuts and we have three pounds of 80-20 hamburger, two eggs, quarter cup of vinegar, or uh, Worcestershire sauce and we're actually using this here, Bear Burton's W sauce. It's uh, something I saw, had to try it. And it Loved it. Okay, so over here we have pre-chopped one head of garlic, two um, Anaheim peppers, two jalapeno peppers, two adobo peppers in, or uh, uh, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And that comes in a can from La Cantina. You can also get uh, Goya makes it too. And then we've got some uh, Tillamook shredded four cheese, Mexican style cheese. Then we have four mushrooms chopped up. These are the brown cremini mushrooms, also known as portobellas. Then we have about a third of a can of uh, corn just because it was uh, there and so I didn't have a future use planned so I'm just throwing it in. Then we have pre-selected our onion cuts. So you want to have a large outer ring and a smaller inner ring and uh, if your inner ring breaks apart don't worry you can wrap that in bacon and uh, stitch it together and it'll all hold together. Okay, so um, basically all of this goes into that, two eggs, salt, and um, not really doing any spicing in here because uh, at the end of it we will glaze with some Sweet Baby Ray's hickory smoked barbecue sauce and that'll be it. Most of the flavor is just really gonna come from uh, the ingredients and from the Worcestershire and from the Sweet Baby Ray's and you don't have to use as much garlic as I do but I love garlic okay so we're gonna mix this all together and then I will uh, show you when I start to assemble the uh, donuts okay and of course get yourself a pair of gloves to uh, mix everything. All right, and away we go. Okay, so we are wrapping the last of the uh, barbecue donuts with bacon. So we have the onion inner and outer ring, and on the last two here, I'm just kind of trying a little experiment with ricotta cheese spread on the top. And then we will just wrap it in bacon. And uh, so the bacon can be a little bit of a trick to thread through the hole here. It kind of wants to stick to the cutting board a little bit. And generally it takes about three sheets, uh, three um, strips of bacon. Then, um, and then also you can kind of stretch your bacon to get a little extra mileage out of it. And just be patient, the bacon wants to work against you when you're threading it through the hole. So this one here is kind of a bigger one, so it'll probably take four strips which is fine because we are talking bacon here. So you just got to kind of be holding everything together here. You know, your meat is going to want to slip out from between the onion pieces. Or your uh, yeah, your meat filling is going to want to slide out, so you just got to kind of keep your hands in there to hold it in place. And as you go, the bacon holds it in place. So 
So one more strip of bacon. Give it a quick stretch. Not too hard because it'll break it. So tonight we're just going to do the first six in the oven and then put the uh, meat mix into the fridge and then we'll do the barbecuing tomorrow because it's a little late and uh, we noticed a family of raccoons out there so we don't want to uh, be enticing and encouraging them with any bad behavior. Okay, there. Pull this one back over the top, and let me bring this around over here. And there you go. And this bacon here, we had a uh, structural failure on the outer onion split, so I uh, took a band-aid of bacon, wrapped it around, and then wrapped the overlap, and it's holding together very nicely. So we've used about half of the package of bacon here. And uh, we'll use the rest of that tomorrow, and uh, then we'll also be able to make some barbecued hamburgers with the remainder that didn't get into a uh, onion, okay? All right, so uh, I'll bring you back when these come out of the oven and uh, let you see how they look and uh, my first-hand taste experience. Okay. Okay, so we are putting on some sweet baby rays hickory barbecue sauce and uh, I was going to use some stuff called meat Mitch and we already used one bottle of it around the house here and it was really tasty but um, the other bottle <coughs> I promised to my brother Mitch for his birthday get it Mitch meat Mitch barbecue sauce it'll go nicely with his uh, Traeger grill he loves his Traeger grill so we are gonna work with the old tried-and-true sweet baby rays but we're not gonna do the oven or the barbecue tonight because of the raccoons so um, the um, oven it is but uh, yeah these look good these look really good they're not even cooked yet and they still smell good barbecue sauce and bacon and garlic some of my these are a few of my favorite things bacon and garlic and hamburger and jalapenos that was a song, wasn't it? <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so there we go. Um, the sauna is just about ready there, 350 degrees. Um, unfortunately, the official channel taste tester isn't going to be available tonight. Past his bedtime at 1030. But, uh, yeah, Paul, uh, sorry. I guess uh, we're just going to have to eat these without your input. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. That is, oh, we have a little steam issues there. Okay, so that's what they look like, hour and a half in the oven. Couldn't do the barbecue tonight because it was late and we had raccoons, but anyway. There we go. That's a half of one. Yes, a half of one. Kelly and I are splitting it. Let's see if I can cut this here. I have a butter knife, not the right thing, but okay. Mm. Oh, 
หาะหาะหาะอืมโอเค these are really good I'm just saying so there you go make this recipe you'll love it barbecued donut other people call them barbecued bacon onion rings with meat okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and we'll see you on the next video okay that first one was really good so these are now ready they've been in the oven for a little more time about 15 more minutes and I'm gonna pull them out now let me see okay these two here are the ones that have the um, ricotta cheese in them and this one here that's the one that has the band-aid wrap around it okay so let's uh, see if I can grab this and put it over there where it belongs and then we'll just let these here cool down for a bit okay let's see how this tastes okay so there you go that is the side on here's the meat and onions onions have caramelized by now so let's get ourselves a little piece here and see what old Uncle Jeff thinks. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and away we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. And just like that, the shipping box becomes a cat trap. Yeah, how about you, buddy? Let's see if I can trap him. There you go. Come on, Arch. See if the cat trap works. Good boy. It's it's your size. Um Poppy. Cardboard is not part of a cat's regular diet. Puppy. Popsicle. Popsicle. And a girl. That's my girl. Look at that little angel. Look at the little angel. What a sweet baby. What a sweet girl. Oh, life is just better with these guys. What do you think, Arch? Hey, go try the box on. See if that box fits. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, try, try that box on. See if it fits. Good boy. Good boy. What do you think? Is it the right size? Huh? Is that the right size, buddy? Whoa. Yep. I think this box fits like, like a glove. Uh-oh. 
Now Poppy, the shameless one, is probably going to walk on top of Archie and try to force him out of the box so that she can have it. Popsicle, Poppy. Good girl, Pop. Everybody's got a box. See, Arch, I bet that box will fit you better. And just like that, I've caught all the cats. Alright, now let's get to work.